Welcome back to the One Star Podcast. Episode 13. The Local Council. First response, seven reviews. We have been hit hard with a parking ticket in the loading off and loading on bay. Instead of taking a small order to the city centre with a large diesel van, we opted to take a petrol car instead to help with the clear air zone within the city. As a domestic car was temp parked in a commercial space, this isn't acceptable. Copies of the invoice to the client and also signed delivery notes aren't accepted as proof and now have to pay 1k outstanding debt to pay. Now have bailiffs on the door removing assets. This isn't acceptable. Especially after business which have massively suffered. I have requested this go through the courts and beam the nature of who I am dealing with, this has already gone in their favour. You cannot win. Raju Tulukdar Two reviews. Where is the justice? Parking service is rubbish. Had the worst time of this year. Making me pay triple the amount I've been charged. Threatened me with bailiff enforcement team when there was no need. I never ignored it to be treated this way. I have always been in touch about it, but you always use bailiff when I said I wouldn't pay. This was not fair. Khaled Ahmad. Two reviews. I been old for 40 minutes, nobody answer. A la carte Vlad, 12 reviews. They like to discriminate against disabled people. Insist on using the system which is hard to navigate around. No one contact, no one to be able to discuss issue with. How to make money for themselves. A Mohammed, 1 review. Covid-19. Absolutely disgusted with the stance of this council. They have decided to uphold a 4am bus gate in the PCN that I was led to due to a road closure despite being informed that I had to drive outside Manchester to deliver essential items to my already poorly grandmother. She has had to shield for months now and we were merely only following government guidance. During times like these, they should be supporting the public rather than penalising us and conniving making money from our crises. Thieves! Rachel Edmonds, three reviews. Absolutely useless, can't contact them and they can't even get their information right. James Emerson, 20 reviews. On the phone for 15 minutes, placed in a queue, no answer, gave up in the end. Luke Jones, 23 reviews. Too much traffic, I can't drive the car, but on the whole, not bad. Aidan Harley Moran, 36 reviews. Service was absolutely awful. The Five Brothers Squad. Five reviews. Very, 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 very bad service. Usnain Ifiktar. Six reviews. No one picks up. Sam Smith. Nine reviews. It's bizarre. Debbie Murphy. Two reviews. Universal Credit has been in contact with me saying my rents can up. This is two times this year. I think it's disgusting. Where the hell has it gone up again? And it comes out with Universal Credit as well. Rizzler. Seven reviews. Awful counsel. Only there to make money. They have no sympathy. I'm not from the area, however, I received an alleged fine in a bus lane. I didn't even acknowledge my response. We're much more bothered about fines to be paid. Ridiculous, especially with cost of living. Ian, 200 reviews. The Canal Side, a well-promoted area of Manchester that looks like a slum. Walking the whole length of the canal down to the main wharf, we discovered the towpath is filthy, the bins are overflowing, and there is a disgusting array of rubbish floating in the water. Perhaps the office workers can come out onto the towpath once a week in order to help the existing staff clear up the mess. David Hallows, 10 reviews. Awful counsel. There seems to be a new team in North Manchester named Abraham Moss Compliance Team. They asked for details I gave about the serious public health matter where I live, only to be dismissed as a three-minute monologue. 
on looking on the new team isn't to be seen on the net anywhere, even on the MCC website. It's an ongoing terrible experience for me, as a disabled pensioner who lives alone. Are they linked to the Cheatham Hill District Office, formerly known as the equally terrible Northwoods Housing? I don't know. Vincenzo. Three reviews. Can someone at least tell me if Manchester City Hall is visible, or is it surrounded by a barrier for work in progress? Thank you. I will be there in December. Nish. 46 reviews. Path from pillar to post over an hour for work before I ended up talking to the rat department. Talk about poor staff training. This is how councils waste so much of the taxpayers' money. Poor management from the top down. Kaikshan B. Five reviews. Manchester City Council is the horrible council in the UK. I think they don't care about anyone, they just take money from the government behalf public. I can say how they are unhelpful, unlawful, and inequality service provide. Mark Taylor, 801 reviews. Manchester City Council hides behind the rules, regulations, and legislation to defend issuing bus lane fines when the reality is poor signage to warn motorists of highway restrictions. Typical Labour councillors and the mayor hiding behind red tape to generate income from people visiting what was once a fine city. Natalia Lu, one review. Completely unable to get through on the phone for hours, and then when you finally manage to get through to someone, they completely disregard everything you tell them. They talk to you like you're nothing more than dirt and then hang up the phone. Pathetic council, it should be ashamed. Syed Ahmad, 24 reviews. Useless staff, unwilling to help, chats in the way amongst themselves. Tried phoning to sort out an issue, but never got through to an agent. Emailed them also, but no reply over four weeks. They don't want to take money, and in a few weeks we'll send an invoice for an unpaid bill. Unfortunately, no option not to deal with them unless I move out of Manchester. Update, Ruth has been amazing. She sorted it all out. She's a credit to MCC. Please fire all of the others and hire more staff like Ruth. Very compassionate and understanding, 10 out of 10 to her, 0 out of 10 to all the other staff who serve me. Marianne Bapa, 38 reviews. Getting through to school admissions is proving impossible. I had been on wait for exactly 2 hours, 11-11 to 13-11. I was on number 2 on the waiting list from 59, then suddenly the call just cut off like that. Moses Kamara, 1 review. Manchester City Council have gave me a terrible experience. As they were building the road on my street, I had finished by two. I come home to a street full of rocks and stones. My car was covered in stones and mud. My house portrait had dampness everywhere. I strongly recommend not to let them fill in road potholes, as this may happen to you. Rachel Kutsavsky, three reviews. Bus lanes popping up everywhere. Some are all day, and at specific times it's so confusing. I have just been fined for the second time for driving down a bus lane I did not even know was there. Needs much clearer signage. Richard Crowther, 113 reviews. If you need to drive into Manchester, throw away your sat nav, throw away Google Maps. Be prepared to drive around aimlessly because the roads change to no entry. No turn here every other week, rendering every navigation aid useless. So Manchester Council, how about you update Moogle about all of your road changes so people can't get around? Nathan P. Six reviews. Unable to collect bins on time, their response is we can send out some refuse bags to use until your next collection. What a joke, bins stink. I bet if you was a day late with your council tax, they'd be sending a court summons straight out. Uzless Services. Gary Jones, 17 reviews. You need to sort out the litter in our city. Make better, safer cycle lanes everywhere and connect the tram to all over Manchester. Benjamin Smith, four reviews. The Manchester City Council are the biggest set of frauds I've ever dealt with. They help care sector services take money out of the public dime 
and then when you report this for fraud to the police, they cover it up. They're screwing you all over. Brian Hughes, 25 reviews. Went to Manchester for a Christmas shop. Spoiled the day by receiving a bus gate fine. No road marking and poor signs. When you're concentrating on the road, you do not know. Would never come to your city again, as seeing on the internet you made 10 million pounds in less than a year. 350,000 motorists. Surely there is a problem with the signs or road markings, but the council won't change it, as it's making easy money for them. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Manchester Council. Keep making money out of motorists. Jason R. 119 Reviews Manchester City Council licensing, they only know how to take money off you and the public are very very rude and pool service, their price is so high on tax renewal, on badge plate or the council is cheaper, that's why everybody is going to different council, wow, they just take the mickey out of you, they don't care about us, they only care about their own pockets, talk to you wrong. Justine Williams, 65 reviews. Manchester City Council has always had a reputation for being behind other councils. MCC spent their budget in the wrong places. Manchester City Council offers a poor service. Rosser Man, 8 reviews. How about with the price increase with our council tax, employ people to answer the bloody phone? Marek K, MKK3A. 387 reviews. Interior may be beautiful, but so what if I can't visit it because of renovation? Whistleblower. Two reviews. The Department of Internal Audits Address, Level 5, Town Hall Extension, Mount Street Elevation, Albert Square, Manchester M62LA. The Internal Audit Department is run by Manchester City Council and funded by the taxpayer. The Internal Audit Department are breaching the Equality Act 2010 and are in breach of equality objectives. The Internal Audit Group of employees are a group of tyrants which cover each other's backs and that fail to adhere to the equality objectives and policies and treating black and ethnic minority groups in a discriminatory manner, both in direct discrimination and indirect discrimination. The name of these employees are and breaches of equality legislation and equality objectives are also committed by The actions by these individuals are akin to that of a police stop and search policy of black people purely because they are black. These individuals specifically target black and ethnic minorities from poor backgrounds. They make assumptions that these individuals have committed criminal offences and target these individuals because of their ethnicity. They make false allegations about these black and ethnic minorities and use underhand practices and dirty tactics. If these individuals complain, they deliberately have a policy not to uphold their complaints. The decisions made by these individuals are biased and illegal. They further unlawfully then pursue private prosecutions using taxpayers' money if these individuals have complained about them. This shows they are biased and act as judge, jury and executioner and carry out biased decision-making and perpetuate their self-interests and act in conflict as of duties. There is no independence in the decision-making, such as a separate entity akin to the CPS to make a decision to prosecute or not. The actions of this department leads to fundamental miscarriages of justice. The department have poor record-keeping, fail to follow procedure and the law, they have poor communication and maladministration. The department provides misleading information and fail to properly and fairly investigate matters. Internal Audit Department of Manchester City Council are discriminating on the grounds of race and committing institutional racism. Graham Roberts, 91 Reviews Entrapment of motorists for founding and profit-making purposes. Threatening them with limitless legal fees. Avoid the city where possible. It's a party. One review. This place has the worst tax of all time. Zizo KJ. 65 reviews. 
Stuff rude, they not help all time, they shouting and angry when you ask questions, they look like don't like their jobs and not showing respect to anyone. Bill Walters, three reviews. Worst council in the country by far. Labour out at the next election. Jelly Bellies, four reviews. Too many homeless out on streets, shame on you. Harry Hughes, one review. Suspend council tax for this year. Joanne McManus, two reviews. As both seem lie and intimidate. Waste of taxpayers' money. Deborah Symes Thompson, 25 reviews. Rude and inept stuff in the business rights department. Mark A, one review. How about you answer the phone from time to time? Nikita Lazarev, 40 reviews. Thanks for not answering the phone. Duncan G, 15 reviews. Full of jobs with. C. Canton, 219 reviews. I could not see the monument under construction and hidden by the tarpaulins. Too bad for you. Shanglin Kim, 11 reviews. No need go now. You can't see anything because it's covered by a construction fence. Ki Young Shin, 386 reviews. As of July 30th, 2021, nothing can be seen due to renovation work. The entire building is covered. Marcia Agnostia, 184 reviews. Right now, it is all covered up and under renovation or something. It looks horrible. Ab Els, 44 reviews. I came at 3 on a Sunday and all the doors are closed. Victoria Samildi, 4 reviews. The customer service centre for Manchester Council has been closed for over two years now. I asked in the library opposite the centre and was told by a very polite employee in the reception that they do still accept appointments only. But to get one you have to go through them via phone and good luck with that. What a joke. Barbara Woodyat, 134 reviews. Not relaxing, peaceful place at all. So many people using the area as a free office slash Wi-Fi space and holding meetings. God awful piano playing, disrupting any attempt at concentration and no longer any comfy sofas. Ditch the piano player as it's intrusive and unnecessary. F has son, eight reviews. Been given this number for various things and no one bloody answers. Every day and week I've tried. In one day I rang over 50 times and not once did someone answer. There is no call queue either. Mark Memphis, four reviews. Awful council which acts like it does a lot but really does anything, even with homelessness. Ross and Man, 8 reviews. Trying to get through and just engaged tone for 20 minutes, Manchester in a nutshell. Rick Watson, 21 reviews. No service never answers phones, rubbish. Monisha, 8 reviews. No one answers the phone. Anna S, 169 reviews. So I'm sitting here and I'm watching like a consultant has an appointment when at last, for two minutes, she is sitting and talking with her college for ten minutes before calling the next person. Now I am not surprised why it takes half a day to be seen. Nice people on doorway, within 30 minutes she has seen two people, one visit last five min, and next one two min. I'm paying taxes for that kind of service. You should check cameras. It is an embarrassment for Manchester. Lazy service. Roy Ersley, 15 reviews. What's the point in having a phone line if no one ever answers? Ali Abbas, one review. British Council let service is the poorest than other organisations even in the third world countries. They exploit people unnecessarily. They will be rotten in hell for sure. The unfair gains from the public on which you bloom. Soon you will near your doom. You will lose your importance and cannot resume. Your organization will eventually be consumed. Justin Wilson, three reviews. I am a 50-year-old white British brown man educated to GCSE standards in the UK. I was requested to take an ILEX general test. 
which I booked with the British Council. What a load of rubbish. I could not understand this test format. I walked out with question one and demanded a refund. This is a form of radicalisation. If you don't pass, you'll be suppressed and held back to pay more money to this organisation. A real introduction to the corrupt Western democracy. There were poor, well-educated people being fleeced for 175 quid at a time and being told they failed, rebook at the cost of £175. There was a doctor that failed three times. I've decided not to fund or participate in this government-backed radicalisation system as, in my opinion, they should be labelled terrorists. Tai Truong. One review. Do not appear to take their test. Go to another provider. Make you take test with someone else when other provider don't do for same price. The test are poorly designed too. They say not for profit but big shareholder in the company providing the test. Other provider of the same revel test give you preliminary result in 20 minutes after the test. British Council, you wait a few days. Poor service. Bab E Salam Banqueting Hall. 14 reviews. I don't think this is the right address. Neither contact numbers work. Carl Roberts. Seven reviews. Business rates team sent a claim for an entire year's worth of business rates that had been incorrectly calculated to an enforcement officer. Neither the council nor the enforcement company provided any of the legally required notices. They just turned up and took payment, which they were happy to take from another entity. I complained to the council and they couldn't even be bothered to respond. Now the other entity is preparing legal action against them. Mike Member, 70 reviews. Great job closing every public toilet in the city. Really well thought out. Not. George Smith, 27 reviews. Paid for a day in Frog Lane using Ringo app, but still got a parking ticket. I now have to pay a fine along with the £30 I spent on day parking. Graz D. 58 reviews. Bristol City Council as well as the Mayor Martin Rees have no problem with discrimination against people with disabilities and actively continue to discriminate against disabled people. Roads around Bristol also continue to be dangerous for the disabled, but they don't care about it. Andrew Stanton. 117 reviews. Finally, I'm forced to speak out about the abysmal Bristol City Council. Small C. Mayor. Small M. You're a token gesture. Increases in council tax for reduced services. A token cycle lane. Useless public transport. Many times not fit for purpose. And now the former Grosvenor Hotel. Derelict for 20 odd years goes up in flames again. A compulsory purchase order. Too little too late. Brunel must be spinning in his large H grave, let alone his assistant who designed the building. Pathetic. By the way, Marvin, do you by any chance own a pair of red trousers and wear them with pride? To my thousands of followers, strong words typed with free speech, Andy St. George. Dumitru Tanisi. Six reviews. Paid the council tax always. Since four months my waste is not collected. I contacted them many times and they explained that the issue was that I did not have beans. Now I have been delivered beans boxes twice, but I still no collection. Each time I contacted them, I've been reassured that the next week it will be solved and there are still many without solution. Last call, which was today, seemed pretty good, as a girl I spoke to was sounding honest and willing to solve the problem. The thing is, I do not believe anyone that the problem will be solved. We'll be nice to pay for our service and receive it. Hopefully, I will find out the procedure to ask for the refund for the four month. Edward Coulson 78 reviews. I donated what amounts to over a million guineas in modern money to the city. I am now being discriminated against. My attempts to query this with the council just fall on deaf ears. I've been trying to obtain reparations for hurt feelings and hate crime. 
I have every sympathy for people whom are still alive and trying to sort out thine taxes, housing, and other things. Graham D. 226 Reviews A council that prides itself on discriminating against people with disabilities. Tim Arnold. Nine Reviews Once a fine city, now a filthy dump. Litter, weeds, and graffiti everywhere. N. Two reviews. Poorly organised and refused to admit any fault. The man I spoke to, Keith, was absolutely not interested in listening to anything I said. I have no idea what he's doing there as he seems to lull interaction with people calling up. I know councils are strapped and overworked, but it felt like he was gagging for a fight. If you have any complaints, go straight to the ombudsman, because these guys, Keith, certainly don't care. Pedro Amaral, one review. Two bus lane finds on the first visit to Bristol. Great way to attract tourists, thanks. Dan G, seven reviews. Sneaky move changing the parking meter times without notifying the residents. I'm glad I don't pay council tax to you, crooks. Kevin O'Leary, 85 reviews. Clean air zone criteria is an absolute farce. Carl R, 5 reviews. Website unavailable when I needed to look up how to stop a business failing by seeing the eligibility for the government grant. Great, thanks. Useless. Six pack, 21 reviews. The way they administer taxi licensing is a joke. Drivers are waiting for over a year for a taxi driver's badge. Still jumping on the COVID bandwagon two years later. Bivana Rana, seven reviews. The woman on the other side started threatening us when we call for unjust bill descent. Absolutely rude stuff. They really need to record and monitor how they speak to customers and suck them. Dolly. 74 reviews. Pay the bin man in Glasgow a fair wage. We need our bins empty. Don't let it get like Edinburgh. They worked the pandemic and deserve a fair wage. Ursula Walanska. 6 reviews. Cop 26 was here, but the bins on the city don't even need recycling. Powell A. 143 reviews. Unhelpful. Unorganised. Read staff. Pretend to be a perfect council, which never do mistakes or damage over someone's property. Always trying to find a way to rip money off you. They do not accept any appeal, and they use court as an argument to force you into paying anything. Etia Zazaga. Complete disgrace. Useless institution. Edward Wood. 168 reviews. Absolutely unhelpful staff. What should have been a five minute experience took almost an hour. Very unorganised. NASA John, seven reviews. Staff behaviour is very bad, more bad than police. Jafar Hamad, four reviews. Bass service. William Bolton, two reviews. Glasgow City Council has a historical culture of workers who know that they're in a job as long as they want to be. They are resentful, unhelpful, and rude from the very top. An awful, awful organisation. Rob Seal, four reviews. Really bad vibes from these people. Somtanasi Hall, one review. I had to try to live in Romford near my grandson. No luck, still lucky. Matt Smith, 327 reviews. Reasonably priced conference facilities in a good location. Holly B. Three reviews. Worst landlord ever. Don't return calls. Don't take responsibility. Don't help. Rude. Unhelpful. Even gives out wrong advice. Then doesn't apologise or do anything about it. Don't do anything about problem tenants and just goes after the decent ones for minor issues. It won't be easier to list the good things which are none. Literally need to close their office in the sea. Waste of money and time. Bonnie Brignall. Two reviews. 
I viewed a flat in May, only to turn up and there's still people living there. We got told we'd be moved in within six weeks. Six weeks were over and I get told three months max. It's now almost October. Not had a phone call. Can't get an answer from them on anything. Five months I'd been waiting simply to move to another home. They told me I can't give you a time frame. Yet that's exactly what they've been doing. Surely it doesn't take five months to get a home ready for someone to move into. Jeff Poole. Seven reviews. Incompetent. When asked for documents, I now send them by recorded delivery because Norwich City Council staff have a history of losing them. The customer service staff take a Jurassic Age to answer the phone and there's very little they can actually do. The callback facility is a complete lottery. Staff take a long time to respond to emails. There seems to be a problem with administering council tax payments for this year. Despite being fully up to date, I received reminders for payments have now been issued with a summons. The cost of sorting out this incompetency will be met by local taxpayers, most of whom are already watching the pennies. Norwich City Council has poor leadership and poor management. Instead of publishing propaganda, suggesting everything is hunky-dory, the senior managers should really take a look at what is actually happening. Mandy Styles, one review. Caused total chias for almost a year to St. Stephen's for a bus company. This is totally inept. Cancelled buses. No info online. 20 min wait for driver change. You should spend money. Make public transport usable. Six weeks running late for work on Saturday. Bus never arrived. Not selling pint for Norwich. James Thomas. 14 reviews. You've incorrectly sent a council tax cancellation letter. I'm unable to resolve this with you over the phone and have been trying for three days now. Each time I call, I'm told you're busy and will call back later. This will soon be escalated to a council tax summons which will incur additional charges and could harm my credit rating. To add insult to injury, I cannot even submit a form to your website to ask you to contact me, as it generates an error each time I try. This is criminally incompetent. Jack Peters Two reviews. Honestly disgraceful the way they operate. They keep sending letters regarding overdue council tax, despite having never missed a payment. I have tried to call multiple times, but with their offices closing at four, it's impossible to get through. I have to work in the day and simply cannot take the time to sit on hold for hours on end. Furthermore, they have been sending letters for different amounts that are supposedly overdue just days apart. This has happened multiple times now. Ridiculous. Norwich is a great city to live in, but the city council is an abysmal letdown. Dean Weston. Six reviews. Having moved to Norwich City Council area from another local council, there was a marked difference in the service levels and the response I received when trying to resolve an issue was diabolical. Such a shame. Jane. 55 reviews. Get Uber in Norwich City Council! People have to book taxis days in advance. The taxi companies control and dominate Norwich but can't cater to the demand. Young people go out at night are stranded in the middle of nowhere or forced to ride scooters drunk which is dangerous. The buses are late and just do not turn up making people wait like idiots for 40 minutes. If disabled, you have no transport even in the daytime. Uber can also provide people with an hourly rate for work. They say it's about pollution, but that's not true, as the rubbish buses are diesel and most car drivers are hybrids now. Norwich will never be seen as a city if it's living in the 1990s. Get Uber. Even Cambridge has it. The taxi services in Norwich are a joke. Tom. 87 reviews. I had to wait three hours for a callback after being in a queue, get called, and then they hang up on me after about 10 seconds. No call since. How on earth am I supposed to get my council tax, which they've already messed up severely, sorted, if I can't speak to anyone? I've never had to work so hard to give someone my money. Ridiculous and beyond incompetent. Been on the web, which I am registered for, and tried to report a repair. Been going around in circles ever since. 
They've acknowledged my repair, but will not confirm a date no matter how many times I ask for an appointment. Utterly ridiculous website for anyone vulnerable or not tech savvy. One word, useless, and as for the phone line, again, useless. If you want to make a payment, you can do it over the phone without any problem. However, if you need to discuss or correct something, you better be prepared to take half the day off, as to get hold of them over the phone is barely possible. Last time I went in face to face for a chat, the ladies were not even very friendly, even though knowing I was only informing them about changes to council tax, so maybe someone could do something about it. I'm sorry, but I need to work to pay for all these services. Absolutely horrific service. I can't believe the standards of service that we receive in this nation. I tried to ring up 35 times, but each time I had no response. What gives? I thought the council wanted to help our people. I thought they wanted to help our citizens. No, surely not. I've had to wait on hold for over an hour each time and never get the help I need. They are slack. I've been trying to do a mutual exchange with the other council, despite having a backlog of over two years. Get back to me within one hour as Norwich seems to like to keep you waiting over a week for a response. My move has been delayed over two months due to Norwich's slackness. I've had to keep on them and reminding them. If I didn't, I probably would have been looking at a year delay. They advise incorrectly too. The worst council I've ever dealt with. If you work and need to contact them on your hour lunch break, forget it. They'll answer minimum an hour and a half later to speak to you for two minutes. What an utterly rubbish website to report repairs. Just won't recognise login details. Why am I not surprised with this council? Got a new housing officer six years ago, never been given contact details or even a name or a time that we need to change this council. It's got to go. For those working, it's shocking, as you cannot get through to anyone. I've lost a whole lunch break trying to speak to someone about my council tax bill. Demands for £375. No idea how. I paid my council tax bill with direct debit set up by the council. Impossible to get through to anyone to discuss it. Oh well, I'll just wait for the court summons and then I can ask them. So frustrating! Useless! Contact us by telephone! Phone cuts out after being on hold for 30 seconds or so! Contact us online via live service chat! Live chat service doesn't exist! Really? The council tax is higher than in places like Alderley Edge! Despite it being a dump here by comparison, yet you can't afford a decent phone line! Awful, awful, awful at replying to emails or inquiries. People are suffering and I feel like there's no support or anyone or anything to turn to for advice. Cost of living is a crisis and Propel can't afford to live. It's actually shocking how they operate. Very poorly done on counter attacks and fixing issues that I have encountered by far. New numbers to call departments, and if you're able to get through on the switchboard, the telephone number is no longer active. Stockport Council needs to update their services as they're in disarray. Useless bunch allowing work by the idiot slowly. Local company on residential streets at weekend starting 8.15 on Sunday. Try to email contact anyone and they are all on annual leave. Might as well stay on annual leave. For all the good they do, waste of space and money. If you want to sort something out by phone, you'll have to wait a whole day and nothing. No one will call you back. They are extremely busy for the whole day, but if you want to pay, the line is always open. That's what your taxes are going to. Worse than useless. They don't meet any of the requirements as landlords and never help. A serious investigation needs to be launched on the conduct of this council. Very handy having everything online and not being able to log in. Only got a parking ticket for straying very slightly one tyre width outside the white line at the end of a parking row in a car park. I explained to them that one, I was a first time visitor to the town, and two, my parking position was dictated by the poor parking of the car parked in the adjacent space before I arrived. 
which had naturally left by the time the inspector had arrived. Then three, I didn't cause any problem anyway. I've been unable to contact the council regarding a council tax for at least a month via the phone. I just get an automated message that tells me to call back later. Walked in today only to be told they only deal with council tax over the phone. I've never had to work so hard to try and pay someone in my life. The worst experience with so-called professionals I've ever had. They refuse to log complaints, cover for each other. It's like a band of criminals running the show. They do not care about the constituents at all. Refuse to log any complaints and put notes saying you're the one being awkward. Very poor service. Till to go onto my account to find info, but never is displayed. That's why I have to call them and the people on the phone don't care and tell you to go online. Had this issue for over a year now and nothing is happening. Always missing bin collection and saying it was due to the bin being overflowing. But it's only half full. So if you try to get through to an advisor, the phone rings for a few seconds. But it reminds you after every three seconds of ringling. All our advisors are unavailable, blah blah. It's absolutely maddening. At least let it ring for a few minutes, not every three seconds before the automated message. I get the point, bloody hell. Then after about three days, you have no chance of getting through. Waited on the phone to get a phone number for planning department. I was given a number to call, but when I rang the voicemail, it said the number is no longer available and to go to the website. Unbelievable. Stop all council is a total disgrace to the town. If I could give it no stars, I would. If you need to ring the council, save yourself some time and effort and don't bother. As I said, disgraceful. Robert D. Johnstone. One review. What a disgrace this council is. Possibly the worst in the country. Deceitful. Dishonest. Untrustworthy. Duplicitous. I could go on, but I would need all day. After raising an issue with them, in which they are clearly in the wrong, they have repeatedly refused to comment on the problem. When asking them outright questions, which, as customers, we are perfectly within our rights to do, they turn into politicians and evade the answer. This was from the top. Shame on, Shame you. on you. People of Stockport are paying their wages, and I would not pay them in Monopoly money if I had the choice. You've been listening to the One Star Podcast by Robert D. Johnstone. Editing by DJ Mark One. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>